Luke chapter 17. Then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible but that offenses will come, but woe unto him through whom they come. It is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he cast into the sea, than that he should offend one of these little ones. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him, and if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto this sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. But which of you, having a servant plowing and feeding cattle, will say unto him by and by, when he is come from the field, go and sit down to meat? And will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself and serve me, till I have eaten and drunken, and afterward thou shalt eat and drink? Doth he thank that servant, because he did the things that were commanded him? I trow not. So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all the things which are commanded you, say, We are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? that are not found, that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, Lo here, or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. And he said unto the disciples, The days will come when ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. And they shall say to you, See here, or see there. Go not after them, nor follow them. For as the lightning that lighteneth out of the one part under heaven, shineth unto the other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. But first must he suffer many things, and be rejected of this generation. And as it was in the days of Noe, so shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage, until the day that Noe entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day he which shall be upon the housetop, and his staff in his house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. I tell you, in that night there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken, and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together, and one shall be taken, and the other left. Two men shall be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. Hey, Shalom. Our praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakudash, a much. Mercy to you, sincere brothers out there at the True House of David. All you uh, sincere brothers that are teaching the Lord. Um, basically, um, with all sincerity, that understand the Lord's covenant and that are able to comprehend what you have to do in these days. And you have to separate yourself from this untoward generation. Um, 
an unfaithful generation. The children where there is what? No faith. So the bulk of our people, if you're around them, they have no faith. Um, this is something like uh, the Lord said in uh, Matthew 13 that um, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure that is hid. You know, I love that parable because guys that don't have it, they're going to be out there. You know, you could you could readily access guys that are of the world. Um, but the ones that are of God, they're not going to be out there uh, amongst the world in groups and synagogues and broad paths. Um, so I want to read a couple of things. Uh, this is one of my favorite chapters. And, um, you know, we don't do this out of hate. We actually have love. That's why we teach the Lord like we do, because we know uh, for a fact that our that that certain brothers are a lot of brothers are a lot of the elect are repenting unto the new covenant, man. And. A lot of guys are coming out of these groups. We know that for a fact. And what else we also know is that the only ones who these groups and these synagogues and these white gates are teaching to and, and that's hearing them are people that's of the world. So like when they do these lessons and they get all these numbers, that shit is of the world. And that's who's listening to them. The elect are not listening to men that are ultimately are not with God right now. And you see, guys are not with God. And that's what they're teaching, that they're not with God. So um, what you have to understand is that um, in this time is a very beautiful time because what's what's being made known is that the Lord is in certain brothers. That's why the Lord said in first John three he said, God dwelleth in you. For we do. Matter of fact, let me get that before I grab uh, Luke 17. And this is all they were teaching in Acts because what you have to uh, understand is that um, the new covenant was being taught in Acts and men that were scattered, the Gentiles, just like now, all you guys in these groups, you're all Gentiles. It's like all of us. We were Gentiles, too. You know, but you have the same thing going on. The Jews that knew they, they're Jews, they're still rejecting it. How shy. And you had Gentiles that didn't even know they were Jews. They were actually um, repenting unto Paul and them and Peter. So very heavy was happening. These guys that are um, in these camps, they're of the old. Um, let me read something real quick. Because uh, it is very heavy how guys are fighting to keep this world. Guys are literally um, set up to keep you um, from knowing that God is in you. You know what I'm saying? They're set up to keep you from understanding that Yahweh Shai is written in you. You know, it's very demonic, but certain of you brothers out there and you believers, this has been set up because uh, guys are fighting for this world. You see what I'm saying? Guys are not fighting for Yahweh Shai, teaching him. They're fighting to keep their world, to keep you from the Lord. So that's why the Lord tells you, John tells you that uh, for this reason, um, the Son of God was manifested. That he may what? Destroy the works of the devil. Now, it is very... Uh, important that the first major step to getting your power because guys uh, speak about oh we're going to receive bodies and we're going to receive power and this and this the first step to power and it's not carnal power throwing a fucking bus or or, or flying or none of that stupid shit that guys are it's, it's, not, it's not nothing like that 
the first stage of spiritual power is separating and having that understanding. If the Lord don't separate you, then you won't have that understanding. So you have to have the Lord working with you so you can actually see certain things. And the Lord has to pull you out of that shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you have to be pulled out of that shit. Um, First John 3 and 4 said, who, 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 Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And now since brothers is understanding the new covenant, the sin right now is not abiding in Yahweh Shai. So if you're not abiding in Yahweh Shai, then you're in sin. All right, it's just that easy. That is the new law. If you don't have Yahweh Shai, then you're in transgression. Everything in the new covenant is speaking of the Lord. It's not speaking of, of the old. It says, and you know that he was manifested to take away our sins and him is no sin. In Yahweh Shai, there is no sin. So certain brothers are of the Lord. It says, and whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth have not seen him, neither know him. So if you're not in the Lord, if you're not in the Lord's covenant or you are not a part of this, then you're in sin. It says, little children, let no man deceive you that he may do righteous. Do righteousness is righteousness. Even he is righteous. But he that committed sin is of the devil. So guys are in sin because they're keeping you out of the new covenant. They're keeping you out of Yahweh Shai. You see, just like Matthew 23, um, they they set up, they, they take the kingdom away, heaven away from men and they can't enter in themselves. It says, for this, for the devil sinned from the beginning for this purpose the son of god was manifested that he may destroy the works of the devil you see that so the new covenant in these days was set up to help destroy the works of the devil all right that's what the new covenant was set up for so when the, the, the men that rec, rec, recognize that they have God in them, when they really understand that they believe and they actually have faith outside of groups and shit like that, then they will recognize it and then the elect will be written in their heads. Revelations tell you that, that the election was written in their heads. So it's like the law was written in them. So it's like, like, Guys are really teaching against the Lord in a very cunning, serpent-like way. So that just means that guys never had the Lord, bro. First John 2 and 22, who is a liar, but he that denieth that Yahweh Shai is the anointed, he is a antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, say you're not in the covenant any way you want to do it. Any way you want to do it. The covenant ain't here. That's a lie. You're denying them. You're waiting. That's a lie. The Lord brought it. Now, what you have to figure out if you belong to that or not. If you don't, then it's, it's like guys don't understand it. Then you shouldn't just teach things that you really don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord always set up uh, a few men like he set us up just to teach and explain the Lord. And a lot of guys, um, they actually hate that because they're not of it all right so they're, they're teach you lies because they really don't understand it and they don't have it but once you understand that you are a part of this and you understand god for yourself and you believe that's going to separate you and that's what you, you're supposed to do first john 2 and 23 whosoever denies the son the same have not the father but he that acknowledged the son have the father also. So how do you acknowledge the son is to teach him. The Lord said, um, feed his sheep. So you acknowledge the son by agreeing with him, by pushing his covenant, by under, by understanding him, by understanding him, by celebrating him. All right. So guys are doing the opposite. They're waiting. They're 
they're not, they say the laws ain't in them because they're not of the Lord. It says, let that therefore abide in you, which you have heard from the beginning. If that which you have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the son and in the father. So, and this promise, and this is the promise that he had promised us even eternal life. So we were with the Lord from the beginning, the ones that are able to understand this covenant. Guys that don't understand this covenant, they don't have eternal life. It says, these things I have written unto you concerning that, concerning them that seduce you. That's what's happening. Guys are seducing you to get you to get you not to believe that the Lord's in you. It says, but the anointing which you have received abideth in you. There it is again. The Lord told you yesterday, and I read John 14, which is in John 17 too, that he said, I've given them the word, past tense. John 14 say, he dwelleth in you. It says, but the anointing you have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not any man teach you. You're right, because once you understand that you're of God and you understand that uh, the Lord's in you, uh, you'll be able to see this thing. And that's beautiful. And that's why we were set up to help brothers be able to understand. And I, I think it's beautiful, man. You know, I think it's beautiful. It says, but as the same one only you teaches you all things as is truth and is no lie, even as it have taught you. Ye shall abide in him. That's right. So first John is a very heavy chapter. Um, dealing. Um, in that, that the speaking of the Lord being in you. It's just that a lot of guys. Are not set up to. Really believe. God is not in them. So they could teach all this shit about the world they want. Uh, another thing, too, I want to say this, too. Um, these guys that are teaching these prophecies in these camps that don't have Yahweh Shai in them, that don't, they're not in the covenant now or whatever, they're, they're not of God right now. Um, they've never been in the spirit. So everything they're speaking is not going to turn out the way they think. What they're doing is they have knowledge of the scriptures to a certain degree. And they have some history and they these articles and the shit that's happening in the world. But the shit ain't going to turn out how they think it is. Because this new covenant, we start teaching a new covenant. Guys, they never see this coming. They never seen it coming. So the shit they're teaching, if you're not in line with Yahweh Shai, it the shit you're, you're teaching, your news and the shit that's happening in the world, or whatever your prophecies you think you're speaking, it's not going to turn out the way you think. Really, you just you don't know what's going to happen. But they act like they know what's, what, what's going to happen, but really they don't. That's another thing, too. You know, these guys, they might newscast all day and teach about the news or whatever. But the, the, the truth about it, if they're not in the Lord right now, they don't know what's going to happen. They don't have any faith. There's only faith in Yahweh Shai. So. It's like I just read. If you're not in Yahweh Shai, then you're in sin. You're transgressing right now. Yeah, you're transgressing bad, too. And then you're teaching thousands or however many people that subscribe or listen to you or hearken to you. You All their blood is on your hands. So you got a lot of guys that are eternally damned in these last days for teaching the unbelief of Yahweh Shai. You got to understand that. Peter talks about hell. Paul, uh, what's that? Yahweh Shai talked about hell in Matthews. Peter talks about hell. Um, you got to understand why the prophets were speaking of hell. Because there is a place where guys are going to be eternally damned. There's no coming back for these spirits. If the Lord has the power to create spirits, don't you think he has the spirit to destroy the ass too? He can do all things that he wants. The old fleshly, the old stony heart and guys that are of this world, they're going to perish in this time. They have to die off. 
this is an understanding that guys don't understand either. Guys move away from that um, theme of hell because these guys are children of hell. You're children of hell if you're teaching men that you're not of the Lord right now. You're waiting to find out if you're of the Lord. That's bullshit. All the prophets in the um, scriptures, they knew they was of the Lord. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's not going off. That shows faith. That shows you know. These guys are not showing you that, man. They're set up for death. That's why you got all these groups. The Kari's and all these groups. IGBK, Nate, all these guys, man. That is the Y gate to destruction. As soon as you recognize that you're of God, you ain't gonna be in no fucking Y gate. You ain't gonna look back to that shit. Cause none of these guys in these groups understand that they're of God, bro. They're zombies. First John 4 and 15, and I read this, and I read this a couple weeks ago. I wanna read this again. First John um, 4, 13, hereby we know that we dwell in him and he in us because he have given us his spirit. So you gonna know it. Guys don't know it because they're not of this. So they're waiting. It's already here, it's been here. You just gotta figure out who you are. And we have seen and do testify that the world and the father sent the son to be the savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Yahweh Shai is the son of God, God dwelleth in him and he in the power. So if you're confessing the new covenant, and you're teaching it and you understand with it, stand it, you, you agree with it, you're celebrating the new covenant and you celebrate the new covenant by putting the Lord in your heart, by agreeing with him. You don't celebrate the new covenant by keeping the old Passover. That's not how you celebrate the new covenant, bro. That's why we know a lot of you guys ain't serious about this. But that's that's on you guys. Because the Lord is dwelling in us And it's obvious It's not a fucking act Yeah we may have grew up In rough conditions We may speak rough We may say things that We may speak away in a way Where people can't um, Understand that's what Paul said With stabbering lips and another tongue He said I may be rude in speech But not in the knowledge we're giving you guys It is 100% spot on and the reason a lot of guys can't get with what we're teaching is because they're of the world. They, they it, This wasn't given unto everybody. It is given unto us. And when you have it, you have to spend the Lord's money. That's what he said to that slothful servant in Matthew. I think it was 22. The, 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 the guy he sat on the Lord's money. And he told Peter to feed his sheep three times. So what are, what, are, what are we doing over here as brothers that's really teaching the new covenant? We're feeding the sheep. We're, we're putting our time into this. We're putting our hearts into it because our hearts are not ours. They're Yahweh Shai's. That's what, that's what it means in, uh, what was that? First Corinthians 6, that our, that our bodies are not ours. So you have to glorify the Lord in your body. You don't need a fucking new body. See, once you understand, once you explain Yahweh Shai and you teach the gospel and you go into it extensively, you will see that all these guys are false prophets. So if you choose to stay around these guys, you're of the world and you're going to know it. Like these elders, they know that we know they're of the world. We just we just hope and we know like few brothers come out of this shit because we were once in that shit blind. And once you come out of it, you, you belong to the Lord. You don't belong to no man or no group. You're free. You've been free like, like the birds that fly. You're trapped in a cage, man. You're in a camp. And these guys don't have a good looking countenance on the streets. Their countenance is failing them, okay? Let me say that again. Guys, countenance is failing them. All right? They don't have a, 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 a good looking countenance. Now, 1 John 4 and 14, I got a couple of things I want to go into. I want to read a couple of things, but I wanted to read these in 1 John. You go back when, um, and what I've, what I've seen to learn, there is profound 
understanding in the Gospels when you go back and listen to them and read them and, and go over them. There is more understanding, more and more and more to the point to where you really see everybody for who they are because the Lord is breaking down certain things and have you understand certain things. Yeah, we forgive guys, man. We we have love for guys. We forgive you. That don't mean we have to be around you guys, though. You see what I'm saying? We don't we don't have hate in our heart. We have love for brothers, man, still. But we know that a lot of guys are evil in this time. And you brothers that actually have an understanding heart that can see a little, the Lord is telling you to get away from that. Because just like I read in John 17, just like how Lot was, when he went out of that city, that's how it is. When all the elect come out of the world, come out of these groups, that's that's what's, that's what's going to bring the end. So these guys be teaching all this news and shit. They don't they don't know what's going to happen, man. They they don't know. These guys are lost, man. They they don't know what's going on. They don't know themselves. That's why the scriptures say certain men have crept in unawares because. They don't have the love of God in them. Yeah, they might have all this info, but they don't have God, bro. You you know, guys got all this info, but they don't have God in them. First John 4 and 15, it says, First John 4, 14, and we have seen to do testify that the Father sent the Son to be a Savior of the world, whosoever confess that Yahweh Shai is the son of power. God dwelleth in him and he in God. Right. So that word confess goes into uh, agreeing and honoring and, 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 and believing in the Lord. It's not just you saying it. It's deeper than just saying you believe. It's, it's deeper. You have to agree with the covenant. And this is all about the Lord's covenant. It says, and we by know, know and believe the love that God dwelleth, it says, and whosoever shall confess that Yahweh shall be the son of power, God dwelleth in him, in him and God. And we know, we have known and believed the love that God had to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Here, Check this out. Herein is our love made perfect. Herein is our love made perfect. Hey, like on Street Fire. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> so perfect in love towards you, how shy. Meaning you're not gonna bring where we're doctrine. You're not gonna teach lies. All right. Paul was in the flesh. He didn't teach lies to you, how shy. Peter was in the flesh. He denied the Lord. Uh, three times when they put the Lord on the cross. But if, if Peter didn't deny the Lord at that moment, then the forwarding of Acts wouldn't have been so as powerful as it was without Peter in the book of Acts. So there's a reason why the Peter had to do. But, he, but what I'm saying is Peter was in the flesh. So you're going to be in the flesh having eternal life. The flesh ain't going to be perfect, but you're going to be perfect in the love of the Lord. All right. This is what you got to understand. Because I know like certain guys be like, well, I'm not perfect. Yeah, you are perfect. If your heart belongs to the Lord, if your love is towards the Lord, which which if you love the Lord, you're not going to push no false doctrine. You're not going to lie on him. That's how we know that guys are of the devil because they're pushing lies. You see what I'm saying? And no lie is of the truth. And who is the truth? You have a shy. It says, and we have made known and believed that the love that God have to us, that God is love and that dwelleth in love, dwelleth in, uh, in God. He that dwelleth in love, dwelleth in God and God is in. Herein is our love made perfect that we may be boldness in the day of judgment because he is. So are we. He is. And so. It says, so are we in this world. And this it's heavy when they wouldn't go get the Lord. He said, I am. And they all fucking drew back. So you have to know who you are, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with knowing who you are. You know, if, if guys are not sure who they are, they, they don't know if they are this or that, then that's on them. But if you know who you are, then um, nobody can tell you that, you know. 
It says, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, right? So these guys speak of the world because they're in fear of the world or what's to come because they don't have the Lord in them or they'll be teaching you certain shit uh, of you how it's shy. They'll be, t they'll be trying to get you to understand the Lord, man, instead of the world. It's like they're, they're, they're trying to keep you in fear, man, in these last days. It is heavy. It is heavy, bro. So guys have no life in them because they're not of Yahweh Shai right now. Uh, John 6 and 53. And Yahweh Shai saith unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat of the flesh of the Son of Man, drink his blood, you have no life in him, in you. So if you're not in the new covenant, teaching the Lord, believing in him, agreeing with him, you have no life in you. And whoso eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, have eternal life, and I will raise him up in the last day. Well, my flesh is meat indeed, right? The the new covenant is where all the meat is. Guys, talking about the meat. The meat is in the new covenant. That's where the spirit is, bro. That's where the new covenant and the gospels and Paul and them, this is, they were explaining to you the spirit. That's why a lot of guys are not in the spirit because they're not even following the new covenant. It says, for my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. There it is again, right here. So let's go to uh, Luke 17 real quick. So we're dealing with guys that are envious and jealous. They're in that Cain spirit because they don't have it. All right, a lot of guys are in that Cain spirit because they don't have it. That's why you have to separate from these guys, man. You do. It's not like it's, it's not saying you're scared or you, you you know you you running away from them, but you have to separate. Paul tells you to separate, man. You gotta separate from guys in the new covenant. You do. Those guys are guys are ultimately they may be teaching, but a lot of guys are just carnal. They just want to be seen. They want to meet women. They want to they you know this guys are not uh, the, the majority of guys teaching. Whether they're teaching in camps or whether they're teaching New Covenant, a lot of guys are just teaching for an arterial motive. You have a lot of spies and you have a lot of things that are set up in these last days to keep you from believing, just believing that you're of God, bro. Because if you if you don't believe you're of, because if you if you keep believing that you're not of God and you're waiting and shit, you will never get out of here. But by the men of power are being manifested, like it tells you in Romans, this is what speeds up everything. And the devil knows that, man. Now you understand why all these groups were set up to teach against the new covenant, which identifies you that you're of God. That's why those Gentiles in Acts, they didn't know nothing of the old covenant. They were amongst heathens. But when they heard uh, Peter and Paul and them teaching um, the new covenant, they believed. Now, this is uh, Luke 17, 20, and he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come. He answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Right. You're not, you're not going to see no new bodies, bro. And, you know, and you're not going to see no fireballs or you're not going to see men flying. You're not going to see none of that because you don't believe. That's why the Lord in certain places, he didn't do miracles because the places where he was at, people didn't believe he had to leave the city. It's the same thing with you guys. Even Esau see chariots. That don't mean nothing. A lot of guys haven't been shown certain things because they don't believe. You haven't been shown the new covenant. You don't understand the new covenant. A lot of you are blocked off from that. So the kingdom of heaven is not going to come by you seeing some shit. Then you're going to believe when you see it, right? Get the hell out of here. Luke 17, 21, neither shall they say lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. This is what they don't want you to understand, that the kingdom of God is in you, man. You know, they don't want you to understand that. They are against that, bro. And it is very heavy um, in this time. So you got to understand um, 
that Yahweh Shai is dwelling in certain men's hearts. He tells you all through the gospel that I being you and you and me. I don't know how clear or plain you can get with that. Ain't no waiting on nothing. Is he you have him or you don't? Um, let me read something else. Yeah, all this is of God, bro. This ain't of me. This ain't of the brother. This ain't of you brothers that believe. This is of God, bro. God being in us. That is what the new heart is. The new heart is the new is the heart of Yahweh Shai, bro. That's what that is. Jeremiah, Ezekiel. Salvation, riding in on a donkey. By man having that heart. Galatians 4 and 6. And because ye are sons and have sent forth the spirit of his. Let me read that again. And because ye are sons. God has sent forth the spirit of his sons into your hearts. God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts. God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts. Crying, Abba, Father. There you go. I don't know where, where can you get your waiting on the covenant out of that. So the kingdom of God is within you. So if you have the treasures of the kingdom within you, you're hidden in the field. And then when you find that treasure hidden in that field, you go hide it some more. So that's what it means in Psalms when it says they consult against the hidden ones that have God in them. But you're fighting against a ghost. You see? So I, I just wanted to uh, put that out there. I got more coming. Uh, I won't stop. Uh, Yahweh Shai is eternal. So his words are eternal. So that makes us eternal. And that makes the teaching of Yahweh Shai eternal. There's many different ways I could break this down, bro. So for now, the key is to understand that you're of God and you have to separate yourself. You have to do these things. Paul, Paul speaks about it. You have to separate it. Don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. You may understand something. Your camp leader might not even understand it. You know, you may have God in you and your camp leader don't. That's what this is in this time. And, a, and a, nine times out of ten, I mean, uh, more than likely, that's that's exactly what it is. A lot of brothers are under guys that are of the world and these big ass exalted camp leaders that are carnal. You know, they got all this information, but they don't have God in them. And you have to figure out if you have God. in if you're able to understand what we're saying, then you have God in you. If this don't resonate with you, then you're of the world. It's just that simple. All right. If you can agree with what we're saying, you got God in you. If this don't resonate with you, then you're the world. You're the flesh. All right. It's real simple. It's real easy. Guys make it complicated. And like I said, guys speak of these prophecies, which they don't have no idea what's going to happen, bro. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. I, be, I speak with you brothers on the next one, man. Uh, repent. And with that, hey, shalom.